Hello traders at CNC Markets. Welcome to another update by RRG Research. This research is for Monday the 26th of September and I'm recording it on Friday the 23rd of September. My name is Trevor Neal and I'm presenting to you from London. A global view of the international stock markets and we're looking at the major stock indices versus the MSCI World Index. The first observation we can make this week is the split in the relationship between the US and European indices. In the weekly RRG chart that you can see here, we see the four US indices that we track. That's the US 500, the US 30, the Russell 2000 and the Tech 100 are all on the right hand side of the JDKRS ratio. So with a reading of greater than 100. But none of them are pointing in a good direction. That is a northeasterly direction. Northeasterly would be easterly increasing JDKRS ratio. Northerly would be with positive momentum. That is the best direction. None of them are in that good direction. Mostly they are turning back on themselves. The Russell has a good JDK RS direction, however. When we do drill down now to a daily chart, we see that none of the US indices is above 100 in JDK RS ratio in this time frame. In fact, the S&P and the Dow are pointing <coughs> southwesterly, that is of course westerly, decreasing JDK RS ratio, southerly with out positive momentum. So this deterioration is not good. With momentum generally preceding the price of the ratio, the inference is that this underperformance will persist in this time frame. Now let's look into the leading quadrant here. What's populating that? We see that the stocks, the DAX and the CAC are in this quadrant and showing increasing deterioration in the JDK ratio and the RS momentum. Even the FTSE 100, which had fallen into the weakening quadrant, is turning up in a northeasterly direction again. Now looking into this leading quadrant, what is populating that there? We have the stocks, the DAX and the CAC, and they are all pointing in a northeasterly direction. And so this is good because we're getting increasing RS ratio and momentum too. Even the FTSE, which had fallen into the weakening quadrant, has flicked out of it, turned sharply out of it, pointing in a good direction and also back into the leading quadrant again. Last week, Julius highlighted the long deterioration, the long length of the, tray, the tail in the Hang Seng Index. This has been deteriorating fast and entered the lagging quadrant during this week and this confirms its position as a really relatively performing index. It has turned back into the lagging, the weakening quadrant right now but it's still looking rather poor. So let's have a look at the actual chart of the Hang Seng and see what that is telling us. This now is a weekly chart of the Hang Seng and uh, as highlighted by Julius last week, he was talking about approaching this low here at around just above 18,200, it was under threat, and we have now plummeted through that low. And this is a very bad technical development. A lot of resistance above us now for the Hang Seng. It has been in a downtrend since the beginning of 2021. We've got a regular series of lower highs in place in here and some acceleration on the downside. Notice that the pause that we saw in the weekly MACD is now over and the, the MACD has crossed below its signal line which is also pointing down. This infers that downward momentum is increasing and could extend further. Last week Julius detailed a scan that we've created using relative rotation graphs to isolate uh, actionable opportunities down to individual equity level. Today 
I, want, I have detailed in my research report, again, the description, quantitative criteria, criteria that we use. And today we're going to look at the Australian market, the ASX 200. And it throws up two shares that have rotated in the 0 to 90 degree trajectory. They're all above, they're both above their 10 day moving averages and they have a velocity increase so the spacing between sample to sample is increasing over the last two samples and uh, this is a daily chart and the two that come up are News International and CRN is Coronado Global Resources so these are our two picks let's have a look at them but you can see here they're in good trajectories and get going faster and pointing in the right direction, this northeasterly direction. Let's look first at Coronado Global Resources. And we can see that since it made its low in 2020 and 21, we've had the, now a series of higher lows and now I would say an ascending triangle in this weekly chart. The breakout level is 86. We're inside the triangle with the rising line here. Break of 86 should increase release sorry a great deal of energy back towards this high around 240. I'm very encouraged by the weekly MACD which has been negative since this high but is close to turning here any steadiness now will turn this higher so this is a good looking chart don't forget its position in the RRG and have been highlighted as an opportunity by our scan now look at NWS News Corp we see that this chart had, uh, had a big resistance around around the 22 level for multi-year resistance 2018 2019 2020 breakout return surge up to between the 30 and 34 range then collapse to the break point where it has bounced now there is a pullback going on at the moment in it but the MACD here, the weekly MACD, is uh, very positive indeed and indicating imp improving uh, upside momentum. So this pullback may be a buy opportunity, but the resumption of the uptrend would be confirmed break, uh, by a break of the 27.30 level. Resistance is tough at, from 30 upwards, but between there and there's good potential for a, potentially a speedy move because the move up and then down in that zone was so quick which of the two do you prefer we have two good looking charts selected through our scanning process and meeting our quantitative criteria which do you prefer i'll leave it there for this week and thank you very much for watching and for your attention we always appreciate it and honored that you take the time out to do it. we'll do it again next week it'll be probably julius doing that so it's goodbye from us at relative rotation graphs research bv for me, Trevor, I wish you a good week and may the trend be with you.